Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll demonstrate step-by-step -step how to send WhatsApp message using Termux on Android phone. This is the reference page we'll be using. We'll utilize Tasker MD Test V5. For more detailed information, you can check out its GitHub page. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you. Let's get started. The first step is to install Termux on your Android phone. To see how to install Termux on an Android device, please refer to my previous video about installing Termux and Node Red on an Android phone. Next, find out the device architecture, whether it's ARM, ARM64, Arch64, x86, or x86 64. This information will be useful as a reference when downloading Tasker MD Test V5. Next, execute the command to download and install Tasker MD Test V5. Make sure the Arch variable matches the architecture obtained. The next step is to execute the command to initiate pairing with the phone where WhatsApp is installed. Once you receive the linking code, write it down. For example, you can use Notepad to save the linking code. Afterward, on Android device, open the WhatsApp application. Click on the menu, then select Link Devices, click the Link a Device button, and at the bottom, choose Link with phone number instead, then enter the save linking code. Returning to Termux Terminal. At this stage, WhatsApp is now connected with Termux. Consequently, we can utilize the next command to send messages. Let's try to test sending a WhatsApp message. Use the command send followed by the JID number and the text message. The JID number should include the country code and be appended with it s.whatsapp.net. This is the message displayed when receiving a message from another number. Next, exit the MD test using Ctrl plus C. Here are the commands that can be used to send a WhatsApp message in the Termux terminal without having to run MD test first. Alright, we've successfully utilized the quick command to send WhatsApp messages in Termux. We'll be using this command in the next step, specifically within Node Red. Next, in the Termux terminal, run Node Red. Then, access the Node Red page on computer by entering the IP address of Android phone to create a Node Red flow. This is a simple node red flow used to send WhatsApp messages. Initially, I use a dashboard form to input the WhatsApp number and message. Then, within a function node, I generate a payload used as a command in the exec node to send the message to the specified number with the provided content. Let's try sending a WhatsApp message using the Node Red dashboard. Open the Node Red dashboard, enter the recipient's WhatsApp number, then type the message you want to send. After that, click on Send WhatsApp. The message will be sent, and you can view it on the WhatsApp application on the recipient's Android device. Alright. 
At this stage, we've successfully sent a WhatsApp message using the Node-RED dashboard, which executes the send WhatsApp command in Termux using the exec node. Let's move on to the next level. The next step involves sending a WhatsApp message from a Microsoft Excel VBA macro. Here's the concept. From the Microsoft VBA macro in Excel, the message will be sent to an MQTT broker. The message will consist of the recipient's number and the text of the message to be sent. Subsequently, from the MQTT broker, the message will be sent to node red located on Android using an MQTT node. Upon receiving the message, it will be parsed to extract the number and text. Then, it will be formatted as a command in Termux to send the message to the specified recipient's number. Here's the node red flow. The message is received from the MQTT node. Then, a function node is used to parse the JSON message. Following that, another function node is utilized to convert it into a command in Termux to send the message to the specified recipient's number. This is the Excel macro file designed to send messages to an MQTT broker. In this Excel file, I've created two modes, one for sending a single message and another for sending messages to several numbers sequentially or in batches. For the batch sending, I've implemented a 10 second delay to avoid sending messages too quickly, which might be considered spam by WhatsApp and could lead to the banning of our number. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has been helpful and inspiring for your future projects. Please follow each step carefully, and take your own risk. I am not liable if any errors occur, such as your WhatsApp number being banned by WhatsApp. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.